Today we're using nut up polish acrylic and we're doing green. I love green. I know it's not a common favourite out there, but I love green. So I decided to do like a falling hearts ombre design. Um I was gonna do pink originally, but I've done lots of pink and nude, so I thought I'm gonna pull out my commitment. Love that name, mint. <laughs> green I know I'm easily pleased anyway guys so that's the shade of green that we have here so I'm going in with these hearts they come in all different sizes um, so I'm putting them in the middle of the nail leaving a little bit of the tip clear the very tip and then I'm going to come in with my commitment from not polish and I'm going to ombre that over from the cuticle area up and just cover it just slightly I don't want to drown it I don't I'm not really keen on this technique to be fair why would you cover up glitter I don't get it but that's my personal opinion what's yours what do you think I know it's quite popular when it was first done but nah. so I decided just to pull it slightly over the hearts not a lot if you get me meaning so I'm gonna go back to over these nails when I put the hearts on and in between the hearts and just on that tip I'm going to come in with Night Out from Not Polish. This is a pre-mixed glitter. It's I'm trying to think of the word. It's it's a gold iridescent. It's really pretty. Um so yeah, and it comes in really small mylar pieces inside the acrylic. So you pick it up and use it in exactly the same way. So I'm going to put that in between the hearts and at the tip so to ombre these two nails the pointer and the ring finger i'm going to come in with light sand now this isn't a nude or it's not on their nude collection but it's a lovely color well i don't think it is i might stand with corrected on that it came in the um, saigon collection so i thought it was a color I'll, ch I'll check that i will double check that Anyway guys, I'm being really careful because what I don't want to do is put too much of this nude down at the cuticle area, pull it up and it go actually in between the hearts because if I get chunks of this colour in between the hearts it's going to totally ruin it and I'll, I'll messed up, properly messed up. So I'm being really, really careful. I'm just dragging the front down and if I do have to go in with some small beads I go in with really tiny beads and I'm really careful where I place them and where I blend them up to. Being very careful not to go too far up the nail. Because remember, they're not capped or anything yet. But I will go in and do that later once this is all set up. The weather's so noisy outside, it's got an awful background noise. So I do apologise if you can hear that. Guys, we're coming in on the middle finger. I'm coming in with my commitment from Not Polish. This is that beautiful green. So I put the bead down and I spread it with the belly of my brush. Just push it down so that it goes to either side. Then I will blend it back before pulling that bead up and over the tip area. Then I'll judge it and decide whether or not to go with another bead just to make it more opaque on that tip. Making sure we're blending it back all the time. We don't want any shadowing, guys. So once that's set up a little bit, we're then going to come in with light sand from Not Polish. And we are going to ombre that up and over that My Commitment. So I do make sure that cuticle area is nice and neat first. And then just pull the front of that bead up and over. And then just to perfect that blend a little bit more, I will come in with a small bead of the green. I'm not too worried about the blend because I am going to come in with that Night Out from Not Polish. 
I love that colour. It's like an iridescent mylar flakes and they're gold. It's like got a gold shift to it. It goes beautiful with this set. So next with monomer on my brush I'm going to dip it into the pre-mixed glitter acrylic. I'm going to pick up a bead and pop it in the middle of the nail and then what I can do is manoeuvre it with my brush because I like a trail from the top right, across the middle and up the tip on the left. So if I put it in the middle I can then manoeuvre it and put it where I want it, add a little bit more if I need to but uh, but in this case I think one small bead is enough. Leave that to set up and then I'm going to come in on the little finger with my commitment which is that beautiful green. And what I'm going to do is pop a bead in the cuticle area, I'm going to tuck that in nice and neat. Here you can see me putting my brush at a 9, 45, 95, 45 degree angle and just pulling the front of that bead down. I think I come in with a little bead. And that's it, a little bit more. Just wanted to go a little bit further up that nail. So I blend in the back and then pull that up and over. Then I will come in with that night out again, and I'm going to put that beautiful acrylic glitter mix on the tip, fade it back down onto that green. Then guys what I'm going to do is clear cap all of these nails and then I will file and buff them into shape. So now we're going to go in with a few gems, they're in these trays. I'm going to be using Ugly Duckling Stick It and I'm going to apply a little bit of that onto the middle finger. I'm going to do exactly the same on the middle finger and the ring finger. So I'm going to put it on the middle finger here. So I'm going to put a generous amount, lie it, you know, approximately where I'm going to put the embellishments. Then what I'll do is with a, it's an old gel brush. With a little bit of gel cleanse on, I'm just going to tuck it in around that cuticle area because I'm going to put a, a little cuff there. So I'm just going to blend out their edges, make it nice and smooth. I don't want to pull out from the middle because I'm going to need that to cushion the uh, embellishments that I'm going to put on. Now I'm coming over with top coat. Now this is all uncured and I'm going to pop those embellishments into that uncured product there which means I'll be able to move it around pop it into place and, and it, I can do that until you know I'm perfectly happy with it uh, and then cure it in the lamp so I've got my little cuff there I've got a gold ring I've got a bead that I'm going to pop into the center of that I've got a triangle I'm going to push it into that jewellery gel, position it in place, like I said pop on the rest of those gems on that nail, then get it in the lamp and give it a full cure and then because the jewellery gel is sticky and I've gone over it with a non-wipe top coat, when it's fully cured it's finished, it's done and I'm going to do exactly the same on this ring finger. So I go in with that jewellery gel Stick it from Ugly Duckling. Here's my little brush with a little bit of gel cleanse on just to smooth out those edges. So we haven't got any lumpy bumpy bits. Then we're in with that non-wipe top coat. Make sure I get round that C curve on these tips. Make sure it's all nice and smooth then i'm going to come in with those embellishments so here i am with that little cuff it's a beautiful detailed gold embellishment then i'm going to come in with that ring show it who's boss tray come on push that in i 
Then I've got the little bead. Push that into that jewellery gel. Then the little triangle to finish it off. Nudge it into place. Once I'm completely happy before it moves, get it in the lamp. Full cure. Then I'm going to use some gripper glue and with some green gems. I'm just going to finish off this set because I didn't want the little finger and the pointer to feel left out. So <laughs> I'm going to put a couple of gems on these fingers. Then what I will do is a top coat around those beautiful green gems just on those two fingers and that will then finish off this set. Guys, I really do hope you've enjoyed this little nail play today. If you have, would you mind just taking a moment and hitting that thumbs up? If you're not subscribed already, guys, I would absolutely love it if you would. As always, everything used today in this video will be listed below in the description box. If anybody has a go at any of these designs, please tag me in. All my social media accounts can be found below. I love hearing from you guys and honestly, I've seriously, I've got the best subscribers. I really have. You're all ace, every single one of you. You've started to tag me in, you're commenting on my videos, we're having little chats. I love it. Keep it up, guys. I really do love the interaction with you guys. Guys, thank you so much for watching today. Please stay safe. As always, there's a clip at the end of the video to show you this video in its full glory. And until next time, bye.